but it only took me that long to figure out. What's up guys? <laughs> so, finally made it back out to Halifax, AKA where Sierra's new home is. Yep. Super, super exciting. We're talking body positivity, something that is a really, really important topic for the both of us. I guess I haven't even explained who this girl is because she's like a super woman. No. Um, yes. <laughs> Graduated from law school, but was Miss Universe Canada the year before me, crowned me. And uh, she also was a Miss Teen Canada 2009, and I was 2011. Funny thing is, we've actually been friends, like, been digital friends. Yeah, social uh, media friends. Yeah. Literally, but, like, that's the hilarity of it, as sometimes you talk about someone who's like, oh, we're Instagram friends. Like, it it's actually real. evolved. It's so real. And finally, we met for the first time last year when you crowned me. Yeah. So. Crazy. And we felt like we knew each other for years, because we kind of did, so... Which is kind of like weird and freaky in some ways, yeah. but I loved it. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So we are both going to be talking. Yeah. And so we're kind of going to look at both phones. We're both recording. Yeah. So if we're looking at both phones, that's why. We're not just weird. If you're we watching, are a little weird. <laughs> no, that's not fair. Totally fair. <laughs> if you're watching on mine, I recommend go check out Sierra's because I look more tan <laughs> there. Also go follow her. And vice versa. I'm just a little bit more white. I'm a little more vampire. <laughs> so it's what we did in our Instagram. We shared kind of our body confidence stories, yeah. a shorter version, because um, there's so much we could say. Yeah. And hopefully we're gonna do some follow-up videos because I'm sure we're gonna think of a bunch of other yeah. ideas. Because for me, for those who know and who have followed me, when I competed at Miss Universe Canada, and then when I went on to compete at Miss Universe, I was criticized so much about my body. I was called fat, overweight, told I was promoting obesity, called Miss Piggy Universe, Miss Fat Queen. I received DMs that said things like, you don't deserve a place anywhere, let alone at Miss Universe. You should go die because you don't have the body of a beauty queen or of somebody who basically deserves a place in society. And it went on and on and on, thousands of comments, thousands of messages. and. As much as it bothered me because nobody wants to read things like that about themselves, what we talked about on Instagram Live is why I knew I needed to say something and stand up for myself and stand up for other people was because I was getting so many messages from young women, from moms, from grandmas who said things like, if they're saying these things about you, what would they say about me? What would they say about my daughter, my granddaughter? What would they say about the person that I see looking back at me in the mirror? And so I knew Amazing. that these comments weren't just impacting me, they were actually impacting people who were maybe looking up to me or seeking, you know, my post for maybe some kind of encouragement for loving themselves for who they were. So I knew I had to say something. And so I stood up for myself and ended up standing up for people around the world who have ever felt like they didn't fit in or they weren't good enough the way they were they weren't worthy in whatever area of life they were pageant or not and so i knew i had to say something i did and then lauren had quite the opposite experience yeah it was meant to be of how the cards fell into place of sierra and i going back to back yeah. because as i mentioned in the live like this girl has when i when i say and and compliment sierra on being a rock star no but like i mean it from the bottom of my heart because even like like not only are you inspiring like you inspire me you inspire hundreds and thousands of other people in this world whether it's digitally or in person but one thing that she did which i found so in incredibly like it, it brought me to we all had a really bond a big bonding like crying moment in the hallway at one point at miss universe yeah. canada so many women came out to say, I never thought I could even compete to be Miss Canada if it wasn't for Sierra's message. If she didn't come out and say that. So that's why I genuinely... <laughs> yeah, well, thank mean, you. I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I love how we're repeating that. it because I feel so creepy looking at you being like, no. you're amazing. <laughs> like, back to back, but it's it. true. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, it's mm -hmm. so powerful. And it also, in both ways is is a testament to the power of your words online both in a positive sense nice. and in a negative sense so people who leave comments mm -hmm. not only are you leaving a comment for that individual which yeah. there's a person or a yeah. wild we're, thought we're, we're here on the other side of that account. somebody receiving that yeah. um but also the other people who you might see those comments yeah. as well and think about themselves and what would they say about me so but what happened with you though yeah. Is I was yeah. I was told I wasn't good enough because I was too fat. I was overweight. I was all these things. And I wanted to promote inclusivity for all shapes, all sizes. Keyword. And then Lauren wins. And then the, one of the first things she's told 
you're too thin, stop working out, you're undoing all of the positive messaging that Sierra has created. And oh, it's so frustrating because we are different. And one mm-hmm. of the things someone said in the Instagram live that's so true is fitness looks different yes. on everybody. Yes. And that's Shout so out true. To that. Ruby, Ruby Hunt from New Zealand. Yes. So it's so true because you and I could eat the exact same. Mm-hmm. We could work out the exact same and we will look different. We will mm-hmm. have different body. We, our bodies will be different because we're You different. ran a marathon. Yeah. Well, I can't do that. Yeah. Right. You could totally do that. No, but, but genu- you, genuinely, yeah. like I actually do have like a bad knee. Like yeah. I cannot run a marathon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but you do all this other crazy stuff. I for <laughs> sure could not do. I swear to. And even like, yeah, no. Yeah. You're strong but, but that's the definition right? it's like everyone's fitness, fitness is so different mm-hmm. and it isn't defined by how, what you look like and so anyways yeah lauren i mean i'm sure there's more things that people said like yeah so my my little journey of like obviously so i i went into the process competing for miss canada just all the girls competing had this amazing conversation with one another about this message she has put forward and how it's a new era for pageants and it's amazing and I I couldn't have felt more inspired to be a part of that group and this kind of also goes hand in hand with something which we'll get into afterwards is how competing for that portion is supposed to be about how you feel yeah and your confidence yes not the way you physically look. Mm-hmm. So A, this answers a lot of people. A lot of people seem to have had the question for us, which was, if you are heavier, yeah. can you win? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. It's just that it's taken so long for women to be confident enough who are different than the pageant norm mm-hmm. to actually compete. And so... Yeah. And that goes hand in hand then, mm-hmm. like kind of back to if you, whether you are different from the norm mm-hmm. or whether you fit the stereotype exactly. because that doesn't, you can't change exactly. your body. Exactly. I, I had lost, um, I'd say I'd lost weight between the two to three year gap that I took competing because, you know, once again, we're women, we're human, Life, our stress, body changes. Everything. Like I probably weigh something different every week. I don't know what I weigh, but it for sure goes up and down just because of yes. some days I some weeks I work out more, some weeks not. Like it's just Yes. We all are like that and that's okay. So like, I yeah. Okay. And yeah. I happen to be thinner and also mm-hmm. wasn't given a triple push up bra for a swimsuit. <laughs> so suddenly I'm actually not even joking about yeah. that, which is the best part. Um, if you like turned around the swimsuit padding it was like mostly like, padding the first time yeah. I competed, and right. it was like this is not the swimsuit. Right, for me. and that makes all the difference. That. Yeah, and we have mm-hmm. at Miss Universe Canada, you have no choice of swimsuit. So, yeah. So I, it's obviously, <laughs> these girls looked a little different <laughs> from the first time I competed <laughs> to the second. That I had a lot of comments so after annoying. preliminaries saying, you know, oh, you've lost a lot of weight, and like people just kind of commented. And then after I won, I was explicitly told you your body type you're gonna undo the positive messaging that sierra did you need to stop working out and essentially just eat a ton and gain weight Mm -hmm. which again literally the opposite messages like we were given the opposite it blows our minds and it totally it messed up both of us in the sense of mm -hmm. and i don't know 100 percent for you but for me i was told to work out more eat less do all these things change my fitness regime and it i honestly ended up it went the opposite for me and then I started losing my confidence. I started thinking, you know what? Mm-hmm. If my fitness of like running a marathon isn't good enough, what's good enough? Mm-hmm. Screw it then. I don't want to do anything because I'm not good enough the way I am. And how can I ever be better if to me this is my peak? If to mm-hmm. me this is what's good enough for me and how I feel strong and confident. And so it, it just, some of the things that people say, they don't realize the power of their words, whether it's comments on social media mm-hmm. or coaches who are trying to coach us they don't realize how powerful those words can be and how different everyone is. Yeah. Everyone's fitness is so different. And to tell you to stop working out when that might be your outlet for mm-hmm. stress and everything else, yeah. like, people don't realize what that can do. It stemmed from an idea that was, you're not good enough. I, I thank God for how it ended up being with a trainer mm-hmm. who was very, very good and understanding. And yeah. her m- mantra and style of training for me, she knew it was a struggle. She knew, yeah. like, it's... For anybody who's ever tried to gain weight, you kind of feel a little helpless Mm -hmm. because, especially at a level like Miss Universe, like you are expected to literally gain weight, but gain it in the proper places. Yeah, it's impossible. And and like as if we have some control over where our fat and things will be allocated to. No. 
So thank God she was she was actually very good on saying like, okay, we're just gonna focus on weights. You'll eat potatoes and this and that. But either way, it was a it was a fear for me. So had I never been told you need to change this, it would have been different. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did appreciate a different style of training. Yeah. And I will say that, and and that's everybody's fitness levels are different. You just just do you. Yeah. Do yeah. whatever it is makes that makes you, you feel, feel good. good. Yeah. Sierra and I live a perfect definition of you are not gonna be perfect for anybody. No. Well, I mean, you'll be perfect for, like, the people who love you and yeah, you love them. Right. But, I but mean, there will always be something that people will pick apart, for sure. You'll be, and that's like yes, anything. Yes, Like, really anything. Everybody has their own definition yeah. of beauty. So, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, don't don't try to be a definition. Yeah. Be your definition. Be you. You could go on and on and on, but we want to keep it as short yes. as possible because I'm sure we're going to do, with time, yeah. some follow-ups to this, answering questions. I'm sure people are going to have yeah. questions. We'd like to be more specific. It just, we don't want to say too much in one video, so... We don't want to overwhelm you. Yeah, with body positive messages. Even just hearing little, almost like, it actually annoys me when people say this, and I'm about to say it. When you get little nuggets of like wisdom, or like, I, I don't even know why I'm saying that right now, but it's coming it's okay. out. We're, but like, when you hear we're little things, older, like, we're saying things exactly, say. exactly. But when you hear those little pieces of advice or stories that maybe you can relate to and kind of take away in your life, just you need a little bit of it, mm-hmm. right? Like, yeah. however long this video is like if there's a couple of pieces that are helpful i think that's yeah that's good. and sometimes all you hear is a sentence a yeah. sentence that clicks for you and it just it really i mean i think everybody can attest to a, a number and a handful of moments of mm-hmm. those little nuggets yeah that that you heard <laughs> oh that's so very oh my gosh that's embarrassing but anyways so final takeaways yes from both of us mm-hmm. i think mine is so simple and it's i share this often but it's just to know that the most important person to love, to look up to, to be better for every single day is that person looking back at you in the mirror. And Mm -hmm. you are your most important priority. And so you have to love you and you Mm -hmm. should love you. And so that's kind of that. that. I love that. It's hard though. It is hard, right? Like we too, like I all the time have to remind myself, be confident in you. Don't compare yourself to Mm -hmm. others. We talked about that on Instagram. And it can be really hard sometimes. So keeping that like positivity within yourself, it's a constant work in progress. So and you know what? I'm really glad you brought that up. I even I think I posted a, a, something on my on my Instagram the other day about that that confidence level because yeah. I competing at Miss Universe. If you don't know, the slogan is confidently beautiful, mm-hmm. and it's really easy for us to have that painted picture of totally yeah. Where, yeah be confidently beautiful and love who you are and and we do but it isn't ever changing yeah it's hard effort sure. mm-hmm. and you have good days and bad days and you yeah. know you might love yourself but have a day where you're just like you know what yeah and that's okay it's, it's okay yeah. it's human nature and it happens so and look at yeah. us like again yeah. i feel there's so many whatever other sidebar topics of conversations mm-hmm. or questions you guys have like for sure i feel super che- like speaking of nuggets and being cheesy i'm like leave it in the comments below um leave it in the comments let us know and then, no, but really really yeah. any question you have mm-hmm. um surrounding this because it's just this is a really really this is why we get into patches in the first place yeah. is to have these conversations mm-hmm. um spark that discussion and yeah and essentially break down a stereotype for sure. It, I, I read a quote once that really always resonated. It was a nugget of information <laughs> thrown at me. I'm going to say that for so long now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Comparison is the death of happiness. And it is so unbelievably true. And I think there's a key difference between the words comparison mm-hmm. and inspiration. For sure. Absolutely. You can look at someone mm-hmm. in a positive way and envy. I really like the way he or she does this Mm -hmm. or looks this way has their style speaks this like whatever whatever it is you you can do that and and appreciate it it, Mm -hmm. but don't compare Mm -hmm. your accomplishments and skills because everybody has their own unique flavor right and feel as though oh i'm not good enough because i don't look like her i don't have her clothes i don't have her hair no we're just everyone is so different and Mm -hmm. That's what gives us our strength. That's what gives us that unique thing. There's no one else in the world mm-hmm. like us. And that's what gives you that power. And so you're so, yeah, comparing ourselves is truly, it, it is a challenge that we all have to work on, mm-hmm. I think, especially with social media. So And that's the thing. If you catch yourself comparing, yeah. pivot it into yeah. a, what do I like about this person? What are, what are like, you know, oh, I can learn this lesson from them. Give, compliment them. Mm-hmm. Actually, we were talking about this yeah. earlier, mm-hmm. is is you know complimenting someone it can brighten their day mm-hmm. like no other and i think just 
God, I sound so cheesy. No. Spreading that love around. Yeah, um, it's true though. It's it makes so a difference. True. And it makes you feel good too about yourself, knowing mm-hmm. that you're spreading positivity rather than criticizing someone else or criticizing yourself because you're looking at someone yeah. else. So. And that person, actually, it's funny. I think that person might actually, you don't know how maybe they're feeling insecure that day. Yeah. And by you commenting, Seriously. it'd be like, oh, I don't even know that person. That feels good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So be the love, spread the love, body positivity, self-confidence. Let us know if you have questions. <laughs> We're so weird. Oh my gosh. How is this even real? See, Miss Universe Canada is our very weird, real people. We're very weird. Is that all we have to say? Do we, we are weird. Like in the... Or wait, comment? Comment, like, subscribe. Yeah. We're not YouTubers. We don't know yeah, what we're doing. Yeah, we don't know what we're doing. We're just... <laughs> <laughs> All right.